so what's up guys this is Anara Choudhury of as group aka isolation media uh, today I will show you uh, how to make uh, the checkpoint active when you pass a certain position or taking some checkpoints like you can see that if I die here that all the checkpoint appears so I don't want that I want one of these checkpoint come why the speed became less? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so let's start. Where is our player? Let's make some speed on them. Speed 5. Let's see what's happened. Oh, it's too fast. Uh, three will be good. Uh, yeah, somewhat you can say good. Uh, now so let's start with some scripting. I think so. Uh, now make some edits in the script. Now I am uh, working with the bull uh, to activate those checkpoints. So make some uh, public static means it will be available to all the scripts so that you can edit it from anywhere else also. Static bull check one active. Uh, which is always false and public bull public static bull check to active now uh, uh, oh it will also also be false uh, someone is messaging me I think so it is mandroid uh, yeah okay yeah I have played his new level okay so let's see so check one and check two active it is a static bull now the checkpoint button will only uh, work if uh, those are means true so where is activation yeah here the checkpoint uh, if check one active is equals equals true then only it will be activated and if check two active is equals equals true and and why I am giving this ampersand two sign to assure it that the check one active is also false because we don't want uh, both to appear as you see that dancing line uh, if you cross one checkpoint or uh, the second checkpoint it will not show you that you can also skip to the first checkpoint so it's not gonna happen in my case of course uh, okay so it's done and yeah so that's only we have to do for our scripting and now we have to set some positions for our checkpoint so let's make cube uh, create 3d object cube I'm making it for the uh, reference checkpoint one active reference
here only you will pay, place your cube I think so and let me check point 2 here and just rename it quite good so you have all your things fully well done I think the renaming was not done so here is our both cubes uh, turn on each trigger so let's see uh, our uh, uh, checkpoint 1 and checkpoint 2 will not appear at first when we die yeah only restart appears so let's manipulate it let's checkpoint 1 reference position be somewhat here and make it somewhat big uh, more big so that it passes through it and its trigger is on and turn off so that it becomes invisible and uh, okay add a script the called who messaged me uh, add a script Add a script name uh, trick active trick check active one now just add it well uh, it will be a very easy one so void on trigger enter if other dot game object dot tag means our game object has a tag means our player has a tag player just set the tag in the cube of my player I have a player one so that's done and if it is that then we will manipulate the bull of cube movement cube moment dot what was the name check one active is equals true that's uh, that easy and now we will manipulate the check two active one uh, our check one active is here and check two active will be here somewhat let it be here only uh, where is the check point active this so this will be good and now make it somewhat bigger more bigger uh, you can set it only this for the crown I'm just making it bigger so because I have no crown uh, mesh collider off and okay it have a box collider yeah uh, it will be good now let's see add a script or uh, checkpoint to let it be just creating a new script so that it will be easier for you now edit script now void on trigger enter if sorry if other dot game object dot tag is equals equals player then cube movement dot check one active will be set to false and cube movement dot check to active will be set to true and our script is done just for a reference I'm telling this checkpoint active reference this must be a small place where if passed it is a crown of course you can say 
I have just made it bigger because I have no path here. Just set the crown here only, and let's rock. Now, if we start, uh, let me show you when I die first. Uh, I died, so nothing happens. Only at the restart button, and if I start. From here, let me go some position here. And after the cube movement, uh, sorry, I have got too much. Um, how can I die? L just uh, manipulate the skip. Uh, it has gone to the check to active. So uh, let's. Um, and if read our script, it is not alive, let's say. Then... And... So it must have a... What I will say, obstacles. So just placed it as a big mistake, I think so. Somewhat here. The cube position is somewhat here, so obstacle to be here, and the uh, cube to reference is here, somewhat here. So uh, no, somewhat here. So that passes through it and the uh, reference is somewhat here so that passes oh uh, so just making it bigger to show you how that works make it somewhat bigger so that i'm making just bigger so that i can die there so first when i die only restart but when I die like this checkpoint is active now let's manipulate it our obstacle will make it slower and now uh, let's pass through the check to active so it passed through and you will see that check to is active and restart button is always there so that's all for this video about the activation you will see that it has active again check to and if you start with restart you will get the same position of the queue let me die here shit i didn't die here in the game i always try that i never die and tutorial I, I think I can always try to show you that so here you can see the checkpoint is active again I start with the checkpoint start and I die at checkpoint 2 is active so thanks for your support thank you man to all of our video this is a checkpoint management video uh, don't forget to subscribe in as group and each dot follow isolation media and each dot io so these are some of my object uh, you will uh, for your uh, you will be happy after this that uh, after this video and some of other videos the last video will contain the whole package of what we have teached you so you have not to worry about those uh, scripts just see the tutorials to see that where to apply those and how to do some uh, tweakings in the scripts so thank you guys and have a nice day so let's see again what the and i died here as a checkpoint one so and a restart button and from checkpoint one if I start if I die here the check to will active 
so check two is active you will see that the check it has passed through check to active so see see it has passed to check to active and so the static bool is set to true and the checkpoint one is set to false and you will see in checkpoint one shit shit I died here uh, in scene you will see that it has passed to checkpoint uh, one active reference so that's all it has both two scripts and both are working fine some we have worked through static variables so thank you guys and have a nice day ahead and I told you don't forget to subscribe in as group so thank you